as we were about to finish mixing the quest, the name of this new audio medium, Dolby Atmos, came up. And, uh, you know, it, it was almost, we could almost have caught it then and there, but we, we weren't quite geared up for it. So thinking about that as we were doing Mirror to the Sky, I started to look forward to, to doing the Dolby Atmos mixing. And much like 5.1, what we did was we got the stereo mix that we were settled on for for our uh, basic CD and vinyl. And then, of course, 5.1, like we did on the Quest, was a an extension of that, in other words. We'd make decisions on every track at all times, what we wanted to fulfill in, in, in the 5.1. But before we did the 5.1, this time, we did Dolby Atmos because we wanted to give it that priority. So uh, Curtis re-equipped his studio and um, did as much reading up about it as it was. So, but not only is it a first for Yes, it's a first for me and Curtis to work in the uh, Dolby Atmos area. Well, if you think of 5.1, you're quite used to that in a cinema, you know, or if you've got a theater system at home and, and you can hear our music or anybody's music, it adds a lovely width. What happens with Dolby Atmos? Most it adds an extra layer of depth that you didn't really have, the top, bottom, and the, the accentuation on the sides. So what I found particularly nice was that you make drum, guitar, vocal. So you've got all these areas that you can adjust, but when they're all level, of course, it, it is the stereo. It, it is what the stereo mix is. So you've got all the stems, and if you want to go into that stem and, and develop something that's in that stem separately you can do that as well so if you decide oh we've got that guitar in the stem but actually we want to put it somewhere else so there's endless choices you're never really a, a cliff edge with saying oh you can't go any further go anywhere you like but the thing we didn't want to do was make a demonstration record for Dolby Atmos we wanted to make our music live grow expand surround and immerse you know so basically we didn't get overly experimental obviously this, this is our first venture we knew we had these uh, like i said i was most affected by the sidings so to have the sides you've got the front and you've got there and you've got the sides you know the top and you've got the bottom so sometimes curtis would say oh I, I, i'm positioning that up there somewhere and he shows me on the screen where it is in the box because there's a remarkable sort of box where you can look at where the sound is in in the spectrum so uh, technology you know <laughs> we're immersed in the multi-speaker system and um, that will transport when you put stereo headphones on it, it's an illusion you know you're being you're experiencing an illusion but it's it's done properly so you put it on it's the same as what we're hearing in the studio and that's one of the most remarkable steps about this is that uh, you know quadraphonic 5.1 you know if you move too far over here or too far over there you, you you're not there you, only so many people can really experience it to its most expressive and most exciting but you know with the development of uh, da going to headphones means that you can be anywhere and you're still going to get the same impression of scale so this this immersive sound is now available you know on your stereo as opposed to can you please buy the other you know nine pairs of speak nine speakers you need so um technology just keeps knocking me out you know pro tools knocks me out with with the opportunities that you, you can do and now it even every track can have um you know uh midi information you know you can just go oh i want midi on that and it, so remarkable development but at the same time dolby atmos what i just say is that i understand as we finished it that in fact as this goes out through different sites and places and you know opportunities you can you can listen to it in they all have their own particular final if you like mastering on it whether it's the level that they send you or whether it's the uh the style of compression the level of compression so um fingers crossed as we say that what we're trying to do and what we experienced, uh, Curtis and I, uh, mixing Mirror to the Sky, will be pretty much what you you experience either in headphones or if you're lucky enough to have Dolby Atmos. And a lot of places are now equipping for that. You know, uh, they're teaching people how to use this. And uh, 
immersive is a, is a wonderful word because you can be in the middle of the music and that's quite fun making the music and then hearing it like that is is very very satisfying it's the width of the real ambience of the music you know that, that, that you can create it's like it's not coming at you here that was that was mono then it was stereo then it was quadraphonic and then it was 5.1 but now Dolby Atmos does take it to a, to another level so I hope you enjoy it I find my 